Hi friends, welcome once again to another session in the transcription. We will move on to the mechanism of transcription. So there are only four steps are there. First one is the recognition of promoters. Second is the initiation of transcription, elongation and termination of transcription. Let's see one after another in detailed manner. The first step is recognition of promoters. I told you promoters are nothing but short fragments which are present on the upstream of DNA required for the binding of the RNA polymerase thereby to begin the process of transcription. Transcription begins by the binding of RNA polymerase at the promoter region of the DNA. And these are the promoter sequences, the start site and this is the RNA which is synthesized. I told you these are the upstream sequences. These are the downstream sequences. Promoters are present on the upstream. And here the promoters are short oligonucleotides which have similar sequences in all the organisms which I told you earlier. They are usually present on the upstream of DNA. And in prokaryotes two types of promoters are present. One at minus 10 region, another one at minus 35 region. At minus 10 region, Tata box is present. At minus 10 region, Tata box is present. At minus 35 region, another, another sequence called TTGSEA, another promoter sequence is present. Okay. See here, this is the start side. This is nothing but the DNA strand, template strand, non template strand, and this is the start point. This is the start point from which the newly synthesized. The RNA is synthesized from 5 prime to 3 prime direction and to the left side are the upstream sequences minus 10 promoter minus 35 sequences are present. This RNA polymerase what it does is RNA polymerase is a large multi complex enzyme imagine if this is the RNA polymerase. This will be moving on the template strand searching for the promoter sequences. Once it finds the promoter sequences, first it recognizes minus 35 region. Okay, first it recognizes minus 35 region. When it recognizes minus 35 region, it moves further and then it also recognizes minus 10 region when both minus 35 minus 10 regions are recognized by the rna polymerase what happens is a conformational change takes place in the rna polymerase forming a open promoter complex forming an open promoter complex till now there is a closed promoter complex this sequence is called as a closed promoter complex closed promoter complex where the dna is not unwinded forming closed promoter sequence closed promoter complex but whenever the rna polymerase binds to the dna thereby the strand got conformational change leading to the separation of the strand that is taking place this complex along with the rna polymerase is called open promoter complex in the open promoter complex what happens is it exposes the starter site imagine this is the starter site these are the promoter sequences minus 10 and minus 35 regions are there the sigma factor present in the RNA polymerase, it plays an important role in the recognition of the promoters. Both the promoters are recognized by the sigma subunit of the RNA polymerase. First, it forms the closed promoter complex. Later, it moves further, recognizes minus 10 also, and then forms the open promoter complex. In the open promoter complex, what happened? It uh, The strands got separated exposing the start site for the addition of the new nucleotide addition of the first nucleotide that is about the recognition of the promoters let's move ahead to the uh, transcription initiation after the open promoter complex is formed the holo enzyme adds the first nucleotide till now it is the holo enzyme which is functional that means if this is the template strand of dna and this is the first nucleotide that is added to the template strand imagine if this is the lower one is the 
template strand the first nucleotide is added it might be either ATP or GTP imagine if this is ATP the from the first nucleotide the speciality of this one is the pyrophosphate is not released that means the three phosphates they are intact they are not cleaved from the first added nucleotide the nucleotide is added that base pairs with the nucleotide on the template strand also okay here is the template strand the first added nucleotide it base pairs hydrogen bonds with the template strand the first the catalytic site here the addition of this nucleotide it it is because of the beta subunit beta subunit of the holo enzyme in the beta subunit the beta subunit is filled with the nucleotide correct nucleotide that can base pair with the nucleotide which is present on the template strand okay the correct nucleotide is filled in the beta subunit and the beta subunit is responsible for the formation of the phosphodiester bonds and the hydrogen bonds then two newly added nucleotides they will be joined by the phosphodiester bond for example here the, this is the first nucleotide that is added if another nucleotide has to be added suppose if uh, uh, here imagine if guanine is there on the template strand what should be the incoming nucleotide the incoming nucleotide should be ctp okay because this is complementary from the ctp what happens the pyrophosphate is removed and here to the first nucleotide and the incoming incoming is ctp okay so between these two c what happens the phosphodiester bond is formed this is done by the catalytic subunit the beta subunit it forms the phosphodiester bonds and the newly added nucleotide also hydrogen bonds with the nucleotide present on the template strand okay again here another nucleotide is added depending on the template strand sequence likewise the selection is selection of the nucleotide depends on the basis present on the template strand the newly added nucleotide always base pair with the nucleotides of the template here there is base pairing which is seen if the nucleotides are added like this the nucleotides base pair with the template strand forming temporary hydrogen bonds this is required for the correct proofreading of the rna okay the initiation process after the addition of about 8 to 15 nitrogen bases of rna and rna synthesis is from 5 prime to 3 prime direction after the addition of 8 to 15 bases what happens the sigma subunit imagine if this is the this is the rna polymerase holo enzyme from this one what happens the sigma subunit the sigma subunit it comes out thereby the rna polymerase holo enzyme now becomes the core enzyme this core enzyme is responsible for the process of elongation as well as termination okay the sigma factor dissociates from the holo enzyme and the elongation and termination are carried out by the core enzyme alone let's move to the another step third step which is nothing but elongation of transcription okay during the process of elongation the incoming nucleotides were chosen based on the nitrogen basis on the template strand i told you there is the template strand which is present depending on the template strand sequence this is the template strand sequence the rna is formed if a is there uracil comes if thymine is there adenine comes and j c g they will base pair with the template strand temporarily as well the newly added nucleotide is linked to the previous nucleated by the phosphodiester bond i explained you in the previous just few minutes before that the formation of phosphodiester bond 
here the phosphodiester bond is formed how it is formed between the previous this is the previous nucleotide and imagine if another nucleotide is coming what happens here this guanine okay between the previous nucleotide and the incoming nucleotide what is formed phosphodiester bond is formed by the beta subunit of rna polymerase and later on hydrogen bond is also formed with the base of the template strand this process continues in the elongation during the elongation process the the phosphodiester bond as well as the newly added strand is also linked to the template strand with the help of hydrogen bond and also a temporary dna rna hybrid is formed so this is the dna strand and the rna strand rna strand is temporary temporarily it is attached to the dna about 8 to 10 bases of the rna are always be base pairing with the template strand and why this is needed means this is required for the correct coding of the nitrogen bases and this elongation is carried out by the core enzyme the core enzyme moves along the dna from 3 prime to 5 prime direction thereby enabling the synthesis of rna from 5 prime to 3 prime direction as the core enzyme is moving the dna helix is separated ahead and rewinds let's see here this is the diagram explaining the process all the processes rna polymerase is binding and this is the initiation site and the rna is synthesized okay the synthesized rna imagine this is the transcription bubble this is the transcription bubble and here after just behind the rna polymerase it is rewinding ahead of the rna polymerase it is unwinding that means as the rna polymerase is moving on the dna strand it is going on separating before and at the same time at the end of the rna polymerase it is continuously rewinding thereby what happens there is a bubble that is formed a transcription loop that is formed where the dna strand as it is rewinding the rna is coming out of the transcription bubble see here the rna came out of the transcription bubble as the dna is rewinding and this rna polymerase is moving ahead thereby here here unwinding takes place and rewinding takes place here this process of elongation it continues until the termination signals are reached the termination coming to the last step of the transcription termination of the transcription transcription terminates when it reaches the termination signal and this termination it is of two types one is row dependent termination another one is row independent termination in the row independent termination there is a palindromic sequence palindrome means which reads the same from both sides a palindrome sequence of gc rich region is formed that leads to the formation of hairpin loop and at the end of the three prime end of the hairpin there are number of uracil nucleotides that are added and the transcription terminates after the addition of five to six uracils okay let's understand this let's see here this is the dna strands both are nothing but the dna strands and from these dna strands on transcription are giving rise to the rna strand this is the rna strand where due to the sequences which are present on the dna these two are palindromic sequences this sequence as well as this sequence are palindrome when it is synthesized it forms a hairpin loop like this because these two are complementary to each other they form hydrogen bonds and there is an unpaired sequence forming hairpin loop after the hairpin the uracil residues are synthesized okay and if uracil has to bind what should be there adenine should be there that means number of au 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 sequences are there remember the au a 
U bond is weak compared to GC bond. Compared to GC bond. GC bond is strong bond. Whereas AU bond is weak bond. After the synthesis of 5-6 weak bonds, the RNA polymerase automatically it comes out of the ribosome. See here. RNA polymerase comes out likewise the this one is nothing but the newly synthesized RNA strand and the RNA polymerase this RNA polymerase it also comes out of the DNA thereby finishing the process of transcription this is rho independent termination where the rho protein is not involved hairpin loop followed by 5,6 uracil residues is enough for the termination of the transcription let's see another one the another type of termination is rho dependent termination here there is a protein called rho protein there is a protein called rho protein which binds tightly to the rna strand and where it binds means here it binds to the C rich sequences which are present in the newly synthesized RNA. The this there is also the hairpin loop formation. Imagine if this is the newly synthesized RNA, that means a long lengthy RNA 5 prime to 3 prime direction, but here the synthesis is going on. Now this is the DNA strand. This is the DNA. Okay, here the hairpin loop is formed and there are cytosine residues which are present. Instead of uracil, there are cytosine residues that are there and these to these cytosine residues, this rho protein, it binds. Rho protein binds to the C-rich sequences and it induces ATPase activity. ATPase activity. ATPase activity means ATP cleaving activity. By utilizing the energy from ATP, it uses energy from ATP. Lot amount of energy is released by the breakdown of ATP and this energy is used to stop the transcription process forcibly. To stop the transcription forcibly by using the energy okay thereby what happens the newly synthesized rna is released okay and the rna polymerase also comes out rna polymerase also comes out of the transcription bubble and the dna it rewinds forming double helical strand okay this is the process of transcription in detail yes Let's sum up. We have seen the recognition of promoter sequence, initiation of transcription, elongation of transcription, as well as termination of transcription. Recognition of promoters, there are two uh, types of uh, promoters are there, minus 10 and minus 35 sequences were recognized by RNA polymerase a holo enzyme. Sigma subunit is necessary for the recognition of promoters, binds to the RNA strand binds to the DNA template strand thereby separating the DNA by bringing the conformational change in the RNA polymerase then the process of initiation starts initiation begins by the binding of uh, by adding either the ATP or GTP as the first nucleotide first from the first nucleotide the three phosphates are intact not broken down then later on the second third fourth nucleotides are added by the beta subunit of RNA polymerase then elongation is also similar to the initiation process after the addition of 8 to 15 nucleotides the sigma subunit it comes out of the ribosome and the next process is carried out by the core enzyme of the RNA polymerase this core enzyme it carries on the process of elongation till the termination signal is reached elongation is nothing but the addition of phosphodiester bond uh, addition of nucleotides to the previous nucleotide as well as forming hydrogen bonds with the template and whenever the termination signals are reached there are two types of termination one is the row dependent termination another one is row independent termination row independent termination okay thank you